In a small town a house stood, weathered by time and shrouded in a cloak of eerie silence. This wasn't just any house but a relic of a bygone era, its wooden walls groaning with the weight of dark secrets. Its windows like hollow eyes stared out at the world, hiding the chilling tales that echoed through its deserted rooms. This house had a past, a sinister narrative that unfolded within its crumbling confines. It was once a home, a sanctuary for a family whose lives were intertwined with its very fabric. But fate, as it often does, had a cruel twist in store. One fateful night, the veil of serenity was shattered, replaced by a shroud of despair that would forever mark this house as a place of tragedy. The family, once filled with laughter and love, met a fate too dreadful to recount. Their lives extinguished, their spirits forever trapped within the oppressive walls of this forsaken dwelling. Their story became a chilling whisper on the wind, a tale told in hushed tones by the locals. The house, they said, was cursed, its dark history a warning to all who dared approach. For decades the house stood, its silence echoing through the small town. Children were warned to stay away, their curious eyes meeting the hollow stare of the house with a shiver of fear. Adults crossed the street, their hearts pounding with a primal dread that was impossible to ignore. Rumors swirled around the town each more chilling than the last. Whispers of spectral figures seen in the dead of night, of eerie sounds that echoed from within the deserted rooms, of a malevolent presence that clung to the house like a spectral shroud. These tales seeped into the town's consciousness, turning the house into a symbol of fear and superstition. And so, the house remained, untouched and unexplored, a monument to the tragic past that clung to its very bones. That was until one brave teenager dared to challenge the rumors, stepping into the void of the unknown, ready unearth the secrets that lay within. Little did he know, the shadows of the past were waiting, eager to tell their tale. Are you brave enough to journey with us into the unknown and uncover the secrets that this house holds? Then make sure to subscribe and join us on this thrilling expedition into the past. Don't miss out on any of the chills and thrills, hit the subscribe button now. Don't forget to subscribe to Horror Hushed for more spine-tingling tales. Your support integral in helping us bring more chilling stories to life. By hitting that button, you not only lend us a helping hand in our quest to unearth terrifying tales, but you also get the opportunity to join our close-knit community of horror enthusiasts. Remember, every subscription ensures you don't miss out on our thrilling content. Are you brave enough to face the unknown? If so, hit that subscribe button now. Let's journey back into the shadows together. Meet Alex, a teenager with an adventurous spirit and a dare to conquer. Young and fearless, he was the daring soul who decided to challenge the whispered legends of his small town. A local abandoned house shrouded in mystery and tragedy became his chosen battlefield. Armed with a flashlight and a courage that quivered like a flickering candle, Alex boldly stepped past the creaking front door. The air inside the house was heavy with an unsettling quiet, as if it was holding its breath, waiting for an unwelcome intruder to leave. The atmosphere was dense, filled with the echoes of untold secrets, and the walls seemed to bear the weight of the house's dark history. The silence was so profound that even the faintest sound of his own heartbeat seemed amplified, a relentless drumming in his ears. As Alex ventured deeper into the house, a sense of unease nipped at his heels. He navigated through the decaying rooms, each one a testament to the passage of time and neglect. His flashlight cast long, flickering shadows that danced and twisted around him, giving life to the lifeless decay. In the master bedroom, a relic from the past arrested his attention, an old dusty mirror. It stood like a timeless sentinel, reflecting more than just the room's dilapidated state. As Alex stared into its dusty surface, a figure began to materialize. It was a shadowy apparition, standing just beyond the reach of his flashlight's beam, a silent observer from another realm. A wave of fear washed over Alex, his heart pounding like a war drum in his chest. The figure whispered in a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the mirror, You should not have come here. The words hung in the air, a frosty breath that sent shivers down his spine. When he dared to turn around, all he found was the oppressive darkness, a void that swallowed his courage whole. With a whisper that chilled his very soul, the figure warned, You should not have come here. And then it was just Alex, alone, in the silence. Fear is a tricky thing, it doesn't always flee with the morning sun. In the aftermath of Alex's ill-advised exploration, the old house, despite its silence, was far from dormant. The echo of its ghostly whispers seemed to follow Alex long after he had left its decrepit walls, seeping into his dreams and turning them into nightmares. 
The shadowy figure that had appeared in the mirror was no longer confined to the reflection. It had found a new home in Alex's mind. The nights were the worst. As darkness fell the figure would emerge from the corners of his room, a silent specter just beyond the reach of his bedside lamp. Its whispered warnings once confined to the house now filled the silence of his bedroom. You should not have come here, it would hiss, a chilling reminder of his folly. The terror didn't end with the break of dawn, even in the light of day the shadowy figure lurked in the periphery of his vision, a constant unsettling presence. It seemed to feed on his fear, growing stronger and more oppressive with each passing day. Sleep became a distant memory for Alex. His eyes were haunted with the terror of the night, and his mind was a battlefield, where sanity and madness waged a relentless war. The figure was always there, whispering, lurking, haunting. His grades plummeted, his friends grew distant, and his once vibrant life was now dulled by the constant terror. His world was shrinking, consumed by the shadow that was once confined to an old, dusty mirror. Driven to the edge, Alex knew he had to uncover the truth. The house had revealed its secret, but the mirror held the key. The family who had once lived there, the unspeakable horrors they had faced, the portal to the afterlife, all of these were tied to the mirror. The mirror had been the start of it all, and Alex knew it would be the end. The shadowy figure was not just a ghost, it was a malevolent force that had latched onto him, and it would not let go until he confronted it once again. Driven to the edge Alex knew he had to uncover the truth. The house had revealed its secret but the mirror held the key. Haunted and desperate Alex delved into the history of the old house. The local library, a haven of forgotten tales and dusty chronicles, became Alex's refuge. As the pages of the past turned, the air grew denser, the silence more resonant. A story, hidden within the weathered bricks and cobwebbed corners of the house, began to unravel. It was a tale steeped in tragedy, a narrative etched in the darkest corners of human experience. The family that had once resided in the house had not merely vanished into the night. They had been consumed by an unspeakable horror, their lives snuffed out in a single blood-curdling night of terror. But the most chilling discovery lay in the tale of the mirror. An innocent-looking object yet shrouded in a cloak of dread and mystery, it was said to be a portal, a gateway to the afterlife. A chilling thought, that the mirror reflected more than just the crumbling wallpaper and peeling paint, it was a window into a realm beyond our comprehension, a conduit for the spirits trapped between this world and the next. The more Alex learned, the more the pieces of this terrifying puzzle fell into place. The shadowy figure was not merely a remnant of the past, it was a malevolent force, a predatory entity that had latched onto Alex feeding off their fear, thriving in their despair. The whispers, the shadows, they weren't just figments of an overactive imagination. They were real, as real as the chill that ran down Alex's spine every time the entity made its presence known. The revelation was a chilling one. The entity was more than just a spectral figure. It was a relentless tormentor, a dark puppeteer pulling at the strings of Alex's sanity. It was not the house that was haunted, but Alex. They had unwittingly invited an otherworldly guest into their life and now, they were its host. The truth was darker than any shadow, the figure was more than a ghost, it was a malevolent force that had latched onto Alex. The mirror, a portal to the afterlife, had become a doorway to their worst nightmare. Now, they had to find a way to close it before it consumed them completely. With newfound knowledge and a courage born of desperation, Alex returned to confront his fear. The echo of the creaking front door was a chilling reminder of his first encounter. His flashlight illuminated the path ahead leading him back to the master bedroom back to the mirror. Each step was a battle against the rising tide of dread that threatened to drown him. There it stood, the mirror, a silent sentinel of the past. The shadowy figure was waiting, a mere reflection away. Alex's heart pounded in his chest like a war drum, the rhythm of his fear. He locked eyes with the shadow, a testament to his determination. Summoning every ounce of courage, he uttered the words that would sever the connection. As the last syllable left his lips, the mirror shattered, the shards scattering like the remnants of his fear. The oppressive presence that had tormented him dissipated into nothingness. With the shattering of the mirror the house fell silent once more, its secrets buried in the ruins. Emerging from the ordeal Alex was no longer just a teenager, he was a survivor. His encounter with the malevolent shadow, the haunting whispers and the oppressive darkness had forever changed him. The experience was a grueling lesson in the consequences of recklessness of challenging the unknown without understanding the potential repercussions. 
This small town legend of the abandoned house and its spectral occupant underscores the importance of respecting the past, of acknowledging that some mysteries are better left unsolved. It reminds us that curiosity, while often a catalyst for discovery, can also lead us into the shadows of danger. Alex's ordeal teaches us that not all shadows are merely absence of light. Some are manifestations of past horrors, lurking in the corners of our world, waiting for an unwary soul to ensnare. Alex's tale serves as a chilling reminder to us all. Some doors are meant to remain closed, some shadows are best left undisturbed. 